There are hot tubs all over this country and they feel great, but they make you sick. There's three things wrong with them. Uh, for the most part, you can't put minerals in them. The ocean has minerals. Mm -hmm. Every natural hot spring in the world is coming out of some ancient volcano and it's got plenty of minerals. It's part of the salubrious effect of the health of the hot spring is the minerals in the water. Mm -hmm. But your hot tub doesn't have minerals. It's got chlorinated, fluorinated right. tap water. So that's one. The other one is the oxidation reduction potential. So this is some sophisticated water chemistry, but for your hot tub to stay clean, you got to put a bunch of chlorine that gives it an oxidative potential to kill the microorganisms. Every natural hot spring in the world, I, mean, I might be exaggerating slightly, but when the water comes out of the volcanic ground, it is reductive. That is, it's not oxygenated. It is got a negative ORP. That means Instead of stealing electrons, it's ready to donate electrons. And it's typically the sulfur sulfate redox chemistry that controls the oxidation reduction potential or ORP of the water. So we want to make a chlorine free hot tub. We're using ozone. But to get that reduction, that negative ORP, you can switch it to hydrogen. So you turn the ozone off, you turn the hydrogen on, 20 minutes later, the bath is full of hydrogen. There's Epsom salt, which is a sulfate salt, other minerals in there. So we solve the mineral problem, we solve the reduction problem. And then the third thing that's wrong with hot tubs is they're not grounded. You got your acrylic, your fiberglass tub. There's no grounding anywhere, which means you have no access to the electrons from the earth. But a Morosco, we call it the hydrogen mineral bath. I don't even know what to call it, Danny. But if you if you look for the Morosco mineral bath, you'll find it. It's hot, 104 degrees. It has hydrogen. It's grounded. And you can put all the sulfate minerals in it that you want. Is there a picture of it on there? Uh, you can find it online, Steve. You go to Morosco. You go to our shop page. Morosco um, hydrogen mineral bath. Something like that. I should probably know, you know my own product. But go all the way over to the right. You'll see a button called shop. You hit that. And then uh, there it is, Morosco Hydrogen Mineral Bath. Whoa. The first on one ships next week. It's going to Noah Syndergaard, who used to pitch for the Mets, and now he's like a big Maha guy. And so you can see it has this barrel stave look, and it kind of, it looks like a boat in some ways, um, because it you got does. the tub, and then you have a trunk, and you have a hood. And that's where the mechanical equipment is contained. See, I kind of wish I had a hot tub instead of a sauna. Because then you don't cook your head. No, you don't. Uh, I'll tell you why for two reasons. The first one is this thing is incredibly expensive. Um, okay. Like it's in Noah's budget. He, he's, he texted me and he's like, can't you make a hot tub? And I said, well, you know, no. it's been on our roadmap. Yeah. Right. The retail price, $50,000. Mm -hmm. Only Let's see some more pics. People like you? Noah can do it right now. There's a, a video of me in the prototype. Um, all right, so we had, here's a customer and his wife. Uh, they came over. They got in the hot tub. You can see we have the green light in there mm. for calming. And in that video, I start wow. trying to explain things. But we will have better media next week because we're going to uh, video record the crap out of our hot tub before we ship it to Noah. And why don't I want... A hot tub versus a sauna, though. I mean, I think I do. Uh, I'm the worst salesman, like, ever. <laughs> I should be trying to talk you into this. I should say to my sales director, Scott, we got a new lead. Yeah. Um, but the sauna and the hot tub That's are different. When you get into the sauna, you get vasodilation. Yeah. The principal way that you cool your body is to sweat. And so your body will open up the blood vessels and bring the blood to the surface of your skin uh -huh. where the evaporation of your sweat will cool the blood. That's vasodilation via sweating. When you get into the hot tub, your body knows that you can't sweat into the water. Mm -hmm. The only parts of you that are sweating are like your head or yeah. if your arms are out. They will sweat. But there's a principle called hydromiosis, which Google thinks is a spelling error. You know, mm -hmm. Everything that is saturated with water cannot sweat so to defend your body from the heat in the hot tub mm -hmm. you will get vasoconstriction really in the ice bath vasoconstriction in the hot tub vasoconstriction so i'll tell you why the hot tub is good but for thermal contrast therapy mm. sauna dry heat wet cold got it and that will be the smooth muscle workout maximize your cardiovascular benefits Got it. sounds great 
hot tubs, um, they're relaxing. They're, they're good in some other ways. The Whirlpool was invented by an Italian-American. He was an immigrant named Jacuzzi. You probably, it's a very <laughs> famous brand, right? Sounds familiar. Yeah. So he had a son with rheumatoid arthritis and the kid was young. He was like three years old or something. I forget exactly, but he's preschool age. And he discovered that a hot bath with a Whirlpool jet would give his son some relief from pain. So instead of driving 45 minutes into this hospital in Berkeley, California to get his son regular treatments, he invented the Whirlpool jets so they could have hot water at home. Boom, the whole Jacuzzi brand is built upon what Jacuzzi invented to relieve his son's pain. It's a wonderful story. Well, the Jacuzzi was operating at a different time, you know, in the 50s and the 60s. It wasn't seed oils and it wasn't like chronic yeah. oxidative stress. Right. The ice bath does different things in the hot tub. The ice bath revs up your metabolism. The hot tub doesn't do that. People who do regular ice baths do not suffer from chronic oxidative stress. It relieves the pain of rheumatoid arthritis. Like jacuzzi could have done the same thing, but refrigeration is a lot harder to invent than a whirlpool pump that you put into a regular tub. People now do not get the same benefits from the hot tub as Jacuzzi's kid used to because they have suffer from different health yeah. states. Right. If you ice bath all the time, you don't suffer from those conditions. But not everybody's going to get into an ice bath. Like mm. your wife, who hopefully your son is going to talk her into it, right? <laughs> but a lot of women out there are like, you'll never catch me in one mm. of those things. Those people can get many of the same benefits, that is relief from chronic oxidative stress, reduction of inflammation in a hot tub, as long as the hot tub is grounded, gets the minerals are great, they feel good, they're mm -hmm. good for muscle soreness, and has hydrogen. So I disagree with Gary Brecka on uh, some things. I think he's exaggerating when he says, you know, hydrogen therapy is the single most underrated biohack that anybody can do. But that doesn't mean he's wrong. There are benefits to mm -hmm. hydrogen therapy. When you get into a hot tub with hydrogen bubbles in it, that hydrogen will be absorbed through your skin. Mm -hmm. It will relieve chronic oxidative stress. Mm -hmm. For those people who can't ice bath, boom, right. hydrogen bath is right. the way to go. And the best way to do that is in the heat. Mm -hmm. We might come out with a hydrogen oxygen for cold tub just because... You know, if Breck is going to keep talking about it, people are going to buy it. But I can't get behind like this super health benefit. Yeah. <laughs>